How's it going ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. You can see I'm running Windows here. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6 and iOS 6.0.1 using Snowbreeze 2.9.7 on Windows. So just load it up here. You can download it from our download section on iDownloadBlog. Again, this is for pre-A5 devices like the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 3GS. It is a tethered jailbreak. So go ahead and open it, select Browse for IPSW. Browse for your firmware. Here is my iOS 6.0.1 firmware. It recognizes it, iPhone 4, GSM. Now there are quite a few options in this list here, uh, but we're just gonna stick with the simple mode for just the normal tethered jailbreak with our iPhone 4. So I'm gonna show you how to use that. There are some other modes there. You can search iDownloadBlog for more information on that. So yes, we wanna go ahead and activate our phone and then just select no thanks here. Um, and I'm gonna speed this up significantly. This usually takes quite a while. So as you can see, the little spinny icon is going really fast because I've sped it up for the video. So you guys aren't waiting all day on me. All right, this should finish momentarily. Just a few more seconds. Okay, creating IPSW, all right. Now, just so I can show you guys, here's my iPhone 4, it's hooked up to my computer. It is in DFU mode, so go ahead and place it in DFU mode, have it hooked up to your computer. And that IPSW file here should be located on your desktop right about now. So it's done, just go ahead and click OK. And now, since you're already in DFU mode here, you don't have to do anything, just go ahead and click on Start. And it's gonna place your device in the Pwned DFU mode. It's going to run iRep so that you can actually restore using the custom firmware that it creates. So click OK there. And we're done with Snowbreeze, so you can just go ahead and just minimize it here. iTunes may pop up. If not, open it, select your device, hold Shift, click Restore, and then go to the location where you had Snowbreeze. In my case, my desktop. Select your custom firmware. It should be prefixed with Snowbreeze. And then go ahead and click OK and then Restore. And now the restore will begin using the custom firmware and this will actually just go ahead and jailbreak your iPhone. So this isn't like Red Snow, it's a, quite a bit different for Windows users who use Snowbreeze when compared to um, something like Red Snow. This actually creates a custom firmware and then all you do is restore that firmware like you would a normal uh, iPhone restore, except this is obviously custom. Hence, you have to put it into Pwn DFU using the iRep tool located in Snowbreeze. So this is gonna take a little while as well. Um, I'm gonna speed this up. As you can see, it's sped up significantly. You have the little snow icon there indicating that the custom firmware is restoring. All right, so this little loading bar, this takes a while. It probably took me about 10 or 15 minutes at the least. So I've definitely sped this up for you guys so you're not waiting all day for me. Okay, almost done there. In the home stretch, this end part really does take a while. Okie dokie, almost there. Almost there. <laughs> Just imagine how long you're gonna have to wait. This is sped up like crazy. Okay, so we're, our iPhone is finally rebooting now. And one more little loading bar to sit through. Okay, and you should see restoring iPhone firmware on your iTunes and you should see maybe a menu pop up like this. It's restored, that's cool. So now as your phone boots up, you should see of course the setup menu and everything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my my uh, Wi-Fi username, my SSID password, and just get to the home screen. So that's what you need to do right now. Just go ahead and set it up so you're at the home screen like this. Swipe over, you should see Cydia. Now it's not gonna load up because you actually have to perform a tethered boot. So place your device back in the DFU mode one more time. Hold home and power for 10 seconds. Release the power button after 10 seconds. Continue holding home just in case you forgot how to use DFU mode. After 10 additional seconds holding home, just release and the screen should stay black just like this. Now, what you wanna do, you should see the iBooty file on your desktop. Load up iBooty, funny, funny name. All right, and once that loads up, it'll take about 10 seconds to load here. 
Once that loads up here, you'll see select your device. So just go ahead and pull this menu down, select your iPhone or whatever device you're using, click start, and then the tethered jailbreak will begin. Now this isn't like a red snow tethered jailbreak. You won't see any pineapple logo or anything like that. It'll just, you'll just see the normal little Apple logo like this. And we'll give it a few more seconds and then we should be back to our lock screen. And about five, four, three, two, one. There we go. So we're at our lock screen now. Let's go ahead and unlock. There's Cydia. Let's load it up. And it's actually loading this time because, of course, this is a tethered jailbreak. So we needed to do that tethered boot to get your Cydia working properly. So we're good to go now. Our iPhone 4 has, is jailbroken using Windows and Snowbreeze 2.9.7. This works with iOS 6.0 and iOS 6.0.1. So let's go ahead and go to settings. Let me just prove to you guys that I am running iOS 6.0.1. General, about, and there you go. 6.0.1 jailbroken using Snowbreeze 2.9.7. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.